of the great shopping cities of the world, one would suggest London, New York, Paris, yes, maybe even Marrakesh. But Lisbon? You see, it was Portugal that made some of the great discoveries across the globe, opening up new trade routes to Brazil, West Africa, and the Far East. And they brought back with them some of the most exotic of goods. And I'm hoping to find some of these treasures and a few other bargains along the way, because, and this is the best bit, Lisbon is the cheapest city in Western Europe. I just hope I have enough room in my suitcase. If you're in Lisbon, you have to come to the Mercado de Ladra flea market. Here you can find anything from bottom of the drawer tat to some real treasures. I just love the hustle and bustle of a market. Ten dollars. No, I don't want your watch. <laughs> Ten euros now. You no. want? You want now? No, thank you. Oh. Ah! That is brilliant. Uh, today it's a good price. So that's extremely expensive. Today, what is it? Normal price. Okay, so it's normally 375 euro, and it's now today. 299 euro. Okay. That's quite expensive. Maybe I just take you and you sing to me instead. Okay. <laughs> Newman. Gap of theatre in the military. Oh, look at these. Oh, the they're opera theatre glasses. Oh, they are fantastic. As well as all these second hand objects, there are lots of artisans making beautiful handcrafted ceramics, jewellery here, all on site. And just off the main square, I find this unique jewellery workshop. Yeah. Is this yeah, pieces in all of them? Is this your stuff? Well, these are mine, and most of them are from Portuguese designers. Have you got any necklaces? Yeah, the one standing behind you. I made it, so. Oh, that is really. Can I try it on? Sure. Oh look, you were in mine. I made it with all my love. <laughs> this was one of the pieces that I make, and then I'm very sad when they go. So each piece is completely original, is it? Completely original and unique, and that one is really... This is one of your favourites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it for sale? Can I buy it? It is, sure. Oh, wow, it's lovely. How much is it? 75. 75. I think I'm going to have to take it. OK. It's quite nice to have a necklace that, A, is completely unique, and B, was made right here on the edge of this market. Happy memories. Another hidden gem in this market is this fantastic little antique shop. Places like this are full of beautiful European antiques and objets d'art. It's a real reminder of a time when Portugal was the envy of the rest of Europe. This is an 18th century jewellery box from Goa, India, which was at the time a Portuguese colony. So it's actually a Portuguese antique. And here, this is 3,000 euro. And back in England, it would be double the price. It really is a beautiful piece. 